he is the overwhelming favorite. He is the defending champion. He's the only competitor in the field who has gone under 15 minutes. And he leads the way early in this event. But why am I telling you about him? Maybe we should allow him to tell us more about himself. Kurifta last year. Personally, it was a very good experience. It was my second Kurifta. The stands, the crowd, everything, it was a very electric game. And seeing that I was able to bring home the gold medal and be able to hype up the crowd even more, it was a very overwhelming experience to me. Now, this year, I am in much better shape. The training from since then to now I have been injury free. The program has been going well. Right now, the shape that I'm in is, is a 40 minute shape right now. I'm looking to continue to improve that. I just hope to remain injury free until Karifta and continue running faster. To return as 5,000 meter champion, it's a very proud thing for me. It's something I always wanted to do to become a champion at Karifta. Right now, I'm just working towards remaining injury free. To represent Shira and Tobago is always a privilege to represent my country. I always wanted to represent my country in the sport that I love and at the highest level too, the highest level I can get to. It's an absolute honor to represent Shira and Tobago. Tafari Waldron leading the way in the 5000 Open for boys. 12 and a half laps off the track. He's set personal best at 1500, 3000 and 5000 this year in the 5000 14 minutes 57.95 broke Quinton Johns Trinidad and Tobago National under 20 record which was 14 58 48 33 year old mark and this Queen's Royal College athlete trying to defend his 5000 title and mm. there is nobody inside this venue who would bet against him not on pace at the moment to go under 15 minutes. He is one of only four boys in the English-speaking Caribbean to go sub-15 since 2010. We'll rejoin this race shortly as we got a quick word in with Gerard Morisili. Yeah, with me I have Javante Smith as we see the 5,000 meters going on. Javante was the winner of the boys discus throw under 70, adding this title to his shot put title one a couple days earlier. Javante, congratulations to you. And I know that you have secured the double. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's a really great feeling. It wasn't as I expected, it didn't go as I expected, but it's still a good feeling to win both titles. Yeah, you did say that you were, that you felt these would have been a testament to your hard work. And do you think you've achieved all that you've come out here to get this season? I would have said, I achieved in the shot put, I yeah. achieved what I set out to achieve, but in the discus, it could have, I could have finished better. What were you hoping to achieve in the, in the discus? I, would, I was expecting to get a PR, so over 55 meters, yeah. but it was good. But nevertheless, you're happy about the gold medal. Thanks. Congratulations to you, Javante. Thank you. Tafari Waldron of Trinidad and Tobago, as expected, dominating the 5,000 open, 5,000 final for under 20 boys. Won the gold medal last year. Twice before he's won a Karifta medal, Waldron. 5,000 bronze in Kingston, 2022. Stepped up to the gold medal in the Bahamas last year. And looking to repeat here in Grenada. Was hoping to have his first 1,500 medal at Karifta, but finished fourth a couple of nights ago. Beginning to come into his own, the young man from Endurance Elite 868. Picking up the pace just a little bit. 12.5 laps of the track here at the Kirani James Stadium. Certainly has a lot of endurance, Tafari Waldron. 
He has come through the ranks brilliantly. He paid his dues in 2022 when Curtis Mitchell of the Bahamas and Nicholas Power of Jamaica were involved in a titanic battle. 1607-57 and 1608-93, those two. Waldron set it for bronze at 1675-33. But here he is, one year after his gold medal performance, delivering another high-class effort as he seeks to defend. And at this stage, he is very much on course to doing exactly that. Some way still to go in the 5,000 final for under 20 boys. Let's rejoin Gerard Morisili before the conclusion of this one. Yeah, about eight minutes before we get to finish this one. And uh, with me right go now ahead. is the Deputy Chairman of the LOC, Aaron Moses. And uh, Mr. Moses, let me start by asking you just how much planning went into the execution of this? Well, a considerable amount of planning. As you know, this is our third uh, character games. And we are fortunate in that 50% of the team now it was all true. Are you happy with yeah. the execution? And we have been working very hard for the last 11 and a half months since yeah. we won the bid. Yeah. So we have been meeting quite regularly. A lot of hard work, yeah. Grenadian Athletics, they are celebrating 100 years. Grenada, 50 years as an independent country. How were you able to marry the two to ensure that the Carifta Games would have a feeling of both? Well, we are planning for a 100 year celebration. Athletics is deeply rooted in the Grenadian consciousness as you know virtually every school from kindergarten right up have an athletic meet yes so it is the most participative game in grenada and so we felt that to twin with the 50th celebration was going to be the ideal way to celebrate that hundred year legacy of good athletic growth and development in grenada so that's why we uh we we, we, we bid and yeah. were quite successful all uh, right thank you so much and good job well done We'll certainly well, yeah, enjoy like it. I, I think it's the games are climaxing very well. Yeah. The energy of the crowd, you can get a sense that athletics is alive and well in Grenada. Yeah, thank you so and much. And the Mr. talent Moses. of the Caribbean is immense. Absolutely. Looking at the kids. Absolutely. Yeah. And we're looking forward to seeing what happens next. Pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, climaxing well indeed. And so is this 5,000 Open Final for boys, comfortably being led by Tafari Waldron of Trinidad and Tobago. Will trying to sort out for you in short order what's happening behind him Terry but Waldron in cruise control at the moment it's him against the clock just over halfway through the race the record in this event 14 minutes 34.34 set in 2010 by the Jamaican Kemoy Campbell stunning 5k runner Kemoy Campbell based on regional standards he was outstanding comes through seven and a half laps just about nine minutes so he's a little bit off of that sub 15 pace we saw vion ray francis of st kitts and nevis being helped off never easy when you have to do this alone but he will understand his pace he will understand his tempo and he has started his lapping mission. He'll know that he has a lot more to give as well. The Grenadian not taking too kindly to being lapped there. And so now steps forward to say to Waldron, well, maybe you need a little bit of company. So although you are 400 meters ahead of me, let me give you some company. And now EJ George can't exactly keep up with the Trinbegonian. That will be Jake Brislin there. He's in uh, second place. Runs with Tonbridge Athletics Club in the UK. Yeah, let's check in with Jaron Morisili one last time before we come back for the conclusion of the 5,000 for Under 20 Boys final. I'm very happy to be joined by a very special guest in Grenadian. Uh, well, I wouldn't say if I was almost going to say folklore, but he's very present, very current. The Prime Minister of Grenada, Mr. The Honourable Deacon Mitchell himself. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. And let me say good evening to you and to all of the viewers, particularly the fans who are watching from the 28 countries that are participating in Carifta. Now, 
Mr. Prime Minister, let me start by asking you, I know that you are someone who is very adamant on building the youth, building sports in Grenada. Uh, just how happy are you to see these games here in, in the country? You being a young man yourself. Uh, well, I'm extremely happy and I want to thank um, you know, everyone who's made this possible. Uh, the former Minister of Youth and Sport, who is himself a youth, the current Minister of Youth and Sport, the yeah. local organizing team, uh, the character team for giving Grenada the opportunity to host this, particularly after the Bahamas, because uh, the Bahamas celebrated 50 years last year. Uh, I was in the Bahamas uh, for that celebration. Grenada celebrated 50 years this year. And so I'm happy that the Bahamas was able to pass the baton on to Grenada. Yeah, and I'm happy you brought up that point about Grenada celebrating 50 years, you being at the helm. How important did you see these games fitting into the calendar of the celebration? Um, well, I think it's no coincidence that we bid for the games. I think we felt, given that we were celebrating our 50th anniversary, that it was important to have uh, the regional community join us. And what better way to do this than through sport, particularly sport that targets youth and sport that the Caribbean has excelled in, not just regionally, but internationally as well. So I'm extremely happy that we were able to do so. Yeah, and you know, Grenada is a, a, a country of sports. And you, where do you see yourself fitting in uh, to ensure that you offer them support as they go along the way? Well, I think, you know, if you take track and field, for example, it is hands down the most popular sporting activity in Grenada. You only have to come to uh, intercollegiate uh, high school games to understand the passion yes. uh, that people have for, for sports. So it's uh, a natural uh, event that I think has gotten to the point where everyone, even after they leave school, uh, is into it. So I think what is important for us really now is for us to take this from the amateur level yeah. uh, to make sure that we can give the necessary support at a professional level. So the facilities, and this is an example of it, but not just here, but throughout our parishes to make sure that we can improve the facilities for track and field uh, for athletes, to make sure that we can help with things like nutrition, coaching, uh, getting scouts to help them uh, be exposed, ensuring that we help them with education, uh, with getting scholarships to go overseas. Uh, so we have to take a really all-encompassing approach to ensure uh, that we pay more than lip service uh, to track and field. And I'm just specifying track and field because this is Carifta. Yeah. But I think sport in, in, in general, I think they, many of our islands have taken a very amateurish approach to sport. Um, and I think we have to really recognize that sport is a billion dollar business. Yes. Uh, we have a lot of talent in the Caribbean. So it's for us to treat this just as how we treat other businesses by ensuring we support it both with fiscal incentives, uh, financial incentives, and making sure that we have the right regulatory uh, and legal systems in place to support our athletes. Prime Minister, after that, there's no much more to ask you. But other than, how have you been enjoying the games? Uh, it's been spectacular. I wasn't here yesterday, but I came on Saturday. I'm here today. Um, obviously, Jamaica is the powerhouse in track and field, and they continue to lead. But I think you can see that a lot of the uh, other islands are doing well. Obviously, Grenada is doing well. We're in the double digit yeah. medal. So I want to say congratulations to all of the athletes. Of course, special congratulations to our Grenada athletes. And I'll steal this opportunity to uh, big up our swim athletes in the Bahamas. Yes. Uh, you know, they are doing well. Uh, we had a tragic death of one of our swimmers, but she still swam and yeah. she got a bronze medal. So I think if there's anything that tells you about the strength, the determination and resilience of yes. our youth, uh, it's Sarah Dalton. So I just want to take the opportunity to express Thank condolences you. to her yeah. and the family and wish you all the best. I, I don't want to cut you right there, but we do have to head back to the chat. Thank you so much, Mr. Prime Minister. And we're looking forward to seeing how the games go. Back to you, Ricardo and Terry taking us through this final lap. Well, he won to get the game's record. He won't go under 15 minutes, but he will give it a brave shot and it will run a lot faster than he did last year in winning this event. 15.33 he did last year. He's now at 14.40. Comes sprinting down the home straight. Still has an outside shot to go under 15 minutes. And he just about will. The Farai Waldron 15 a 0, 0 0.27 on the clock. Just, just outside 15 minutes for the Trinbagonian. Shorty wanted to go under his own national under 20 record, but it's never easy to have to run this race all alone. Here is the Bermudian coming through now, Jake Brislane. He will be the silver medalist. 1500 meter bronze personal best trained in the United Kingdom bronze here as well in 2023 so he will be pleased with his work at the 2024 Carifta Games but no more pleased than Tafari Waldron 
Yeah, finished third in the Bermuda and 2-3 at last year's Carifta Games. And uh, now the bronze medal is going to go to Trinidad and Tobago as well. So gold and bronze, 1-3. Amari Thompson gets third. That's a big deal for them as uh, Waldron well into his celebrations. Jason Paris, his coach, will be absolutely delighted. His training partners at Endurance Elite 868, Nicholas Romani, Donnell Francis. They'll be thrilled to see the repeat gold medal for Tafari, Tafari Waldron here in the 5,000 meters at the Karani James Stadium. And a 1-3 performance from Trinidad and Tobago. Bruce Lane with the silver. The bronze medalist last year ran 15.45.84. This time around, he's up at 15.42. There's the bronze medalist, Amari Thompson, 16.03.43. Pretty good quality based on Carifta standards in the 5,000. Wasn't a competitive race, but it was a relatively quick one. Two Winwood Islanders crossing the line. The Grenadian surging just ahead. That man, EJ George, outrunning Henrik K. Francois of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Important Thompson eligible again next year in Trinidad and Tobago will certainly be buoyed by being able to get. You see him on the screen right now. Getting the bronze medal on this occasion. But the man of the moment, Tafari Waldron, national under-20 record holder, capable of running under 15 minutes, wants to get that world championship standard, he says. And he running all by himself just a whisker outside the 15 minute barrier standard for the world on the 20 championships 14 minutes 0 8.00 still has a lot of time to get there has up until three weeks before the World Under-20 Championships. Tafari Waldron, Carifta champion for the second consecutive year. He balls out with a bang, 15.01.60. Jake Brislane, the bronze medalist last year, upgrades that to silver, 15.42.42. Amari Thompson of Trinidad and Tobago completes a 1-3 for his country in 16.03.43. Isaiah Jaco of Suriname, 16.10.27 finishing in fourth position. Damian Yeshua of Aruba in fifth at 16, 39.80. The Grenadian in sixth position.